A suspected serial killer accused of terrorizing the streets of Detroit will likely spend decades behind bars. D'Angelo Martin pleaded guilty Friday to several murders and sexual assaults that happened in 2018 and 2019. The plea deal he accepted means Martin could be released in 45 years instead of receiving a mandatory life sentence. 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham spoke with the survivor who brought him to justice. Angela Gardner says every day in her mind she relives what D'Angelo Martin put her through in June of 2019. Her heroic actions landed him here in front of a judge where he faces a potential 45 to 70 year prison sentence that she says is a step closer to some form of closure. I'm very happy with it and then I'm not. You know, I think you should have more time. More prison time Angela Gardner wishes for D'Angelo Martin for the nightmares and medication she says are unfortunately the norm for her these days. I hate to look at his face. It makes me sick to my stomach. It really do. You know, I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I wish I would have killed him because he don't deserve to be here. Gardner survived an attack at the hands of the admitted serial killer in June of 2019. Authorities say Martin had raped and killed four women since early 2018, plus two other sexual assaults, including Gardner. She says Martin grabbed her and she woke up in a vacant home where he had raped her. During her testimony two months after the attack, she described swinging her blade with all of her might as he choked her. And I just stuck him. And then I went back again and I stuck him again. If I didn't have that blade, I wouldn't be here. The prosecutor says Martin's blood, his DNA, ended up on Gardner's sweatpants. That evidence, Gardner fighting him off and escaping, brought an end to Martin's terror. Friday, the now 37-year-old pleaded guilty in all six cases against him, four for murder and two for sexual assault. Instead of a trial and a mandatory life sentence, the plea agreement has him facing 45 to 70 years in prison. I don't want him to ever come back out. Even if he turned 90, he, still, he shouldn't be able to come out. If given the 45-year minimum and he behaves, Martin would get out of prison when he's 82 years old. His sentencing is scheduled for October 6th. In Detroit, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News.